up, what up, what up? Double M's, it's your boy Keys. And it's your girl Mandy. Ew, ew. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yeah. And this is how we are doing um, chicken salad chick. Ah! My, you guys, we got this idea from my cousin, Trakina. Shout out to you, Trakina, for um, telling us to go here. She said they have really good food. Uh oh. So, Better shout out that baby. Oh, and shout out to Tor to um Tori too. Shout out to Tori Tyler and TJ. Okay, shout out to the whole T T T T clan. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is the little uh, the little, the, the little T clan. clan. The, the, the T clan. Yeah, everybody's a T baby. <laughs> so this is basically a chicken salad um sandwich on a croissant. Mm -hmm. You know, bread. We got the fruit, a little fruit cup here, and they gave us a little cookie. Aww. <laughs> And some pickle. Yeah. A little healthy today. Yeah. Keeping you know. it light, y'all. Keeping it light. Yeah, yeah. Hey, told you. Uh, we got to hit that detox. My <laughs> stomach, like, it's arguing at me. So I got the um, Olivia, I think it's Olivia Southern uh, chicken salad. Yeah, because they have different flavors. They have 12 different flavors of chicken salad, y'all. 12 different flavors. Um, you can get broccoli salad. You can get macaroni and cheese. You can get a, a fruit cup. Um, those are some of their sides that they have available to you. And it's re a really nice place. Really nice, beautiful, clean place. Well, you would think when you when you hear they have 12 different flavors that would be a little complicated. But it's real it's concise, straight to the point. Yeah. This is what we have. This is what we don't. And this is what's in the chicken salad that you're and actually ordering. And it's packed in there. Yeah, it's, it's nice in it though, but it's, it's still a nice atmosphere yeah. though. Yeah, for yeah, it to be kind of like believe. busy. Oh, chicken salad. Oh, I'm not, I want some people in love with chicken salad. People in love with chicken. <laughs> but we're going to get into what, baby? Blessing sex. Let's do it. Do we do it? Uh, most loving and merciful Father, thank you for all our friends and loved ones coming in to join us. Um, add a blessing unto them, add a blessing unto this food for the nourishment of our body, Jesus' name. Amen. All right. All right. So I have a um, a BLT uh, chicken salad sandwich, and it's the barbecue chicken salad. And I just add the bacon to mine, y'all. <laughs> mine they, come with bacon. And they they not stingy with the bacon either. No, they're not. And it's crispy too. It looks very crispy. Uh, only thing, if they would have put a little butter on the croissant. And just toasted it just a little bit. Would have been good. But right, let's try it out. Let me see. Y'all see that? This fruit is so fresh, y'all. It's sounding real good. Y'all going to get the first bite. I don't want to seem too stingy. Oh, this fruit is refreshing. We got grapes and strawberry slices. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it's seasoned good. I definitely come, uh, come back. Oh, you like it? Mm. I'm enjoying that fruit. Mm. Maybe you want to buy up a whole bunch of fruit and just cut it up, make a fruit bowl. Let me check out this sandwich for y'all. Mm. Look at that, y'all. So good. And fresh. You can tell it's so fresh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Croissant is so soft, y'all. It's soft. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know Camboy chicken salad cheap, but it's a good one. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of flavor in it. Mm hmm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And the bacon mm -hmm. is in every slice, y'all. With a little dill pickle on the side. Mm hmm. Look at that chicken salad. They put a lot in there, y'all. Mm hmm. Mm y'all -hmm. see that? Mm hmm. Yeah, you because know, it's oozing out the side. Mm-hmm. Y'all see? Oozing out the side. They ain't stingy. Mm-mm. They ain't stingy. Uh -uh. Mm. They only got three types of bread, white, wheat, and a croissant. Mm-hmm. But if they had, like, rye bread... You know, places like this, they're going to be simple. Mm -hmm. from three different types of bread. It's basically chicken salad and the sides. Now, if I came back here again, I would still do the croissant. Because so it's soft. It's not too brady. And the chicken salad is just overpowering everything. And the pickle is good too, y'all. Compliments the flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really good. Let me get me a napkin. And we got a lemonade to drink. We have lemonade and sweet tea. We don't have Coke products. We want no soda, so we got us some lemonade. I need a little squid of that right now. And the, the lemonade pretty good. Yeah. It's not bad at all, y'all. It seems like somebody doctored it up. They say it's the Minute Maid version. But it looked like somebody... So good. Added a touch. Mm-hmm. Y'all definitely come here and try um the chicken salad chick if you do have one in your area because it is good. I mean I enjoy this. It. Like this is a nice little light lunch, you know what I'm saying? You out and about taking care of business or you working, whatever you got going on, you want to get lunch real quick. The service is really fast. And I mean, come on, it's chicken salad. <laughs> you ain't gonna feel like, oh my God, I ate a heavy, heavy meal after eating this, but you will feel kind of like, you know, satisfied. Like, okay, I had a nice meal, had a nice little fruit. I feel good, I ate half a sandwich and I ate the fruit. It feel mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But I ain't giving them my other half. <laughs> this thing too good. <laughs> it's too good, y'all. Y'all want it here, I give it to y'all. Y'all gonna get it out of there. Take it on out of there, eat that. Delish. Keys over here getting in the heat. Thinking about showing y'all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all, y'all see me eat that half a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I came with you. You better show them that food. <laughs> I'll let y'all see me eat that cookie. Are you for real? Really? <laughs> really? Keys, the cookie. That baby cookie. <laughs> it's a cute little cookie though, y'all. They had some other little cookies in there too, but like little um, what do they look like? Little green um clovers. What they look little green little um little ice flower, cookies. Little yeah, flower little flower cookies. They were cute. Uh -huh. I guess that's for the kids. Kids going there. For the kids, yeah. Yeah. 
So you guys, we're just enjoying our day, you know, out having lunch. Um, we head home tomorrow. So yeah, we've had a nice, nice um, couple of days here. It's been very nice. Um, Y'all, we just so we just so happy. We just so blessed. We so grateful for everything mm -hmm. that um, God is doing in our life. And um, you know, I want to talk about something because. A subscriber said that she wanted to um, she wanted to commend us because we're kind of like the example of what marriage looks like. You know, she says she loves the fact that me and Keys are very respectful of each other on YouTube, and that we don't talk to each other any kind of way, and that we don't put our business out there on um, display like that. You better be respectful. Bust the other side of the head. I got hot sauce in my bag, swag. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't paying him no mind. <laughs> I ain't even sound right. Exactly. Because guess what that mean? I wasn't listening to what you was talking about. Mm -hmm. No, it didn't even go together, right? Mm -hmm. Just like you told me, hit me upside my head. They don't even go. They don't even go with this video. <laughs> Listen, y'all. So, she was just basically saying that she um, commends us and she loves the fact that we're respectful of each other on the channel and that you know we treat each other with some respect and that we don't be you know like arguing at each other on the channel and putting our business out there for everybody to see and people to be in our business and I just want to touch on that for a little bit like basically that you know Keys and I do he get on my nerves absolutely do I get on his nerves yes don't stretch your eyes. Don't get on your nerves like that. <laughs> I don't get on your nerves like that. You don't get on your nerves like that now. You the more nervy type. You know everybody has nerves. <laughs> but, you know, even when we have our um, disagreements or our arguments, whatever y'all want to call it, we take care of that stuff in a respectful way, even behind the scenes, because of the fact that this is my marriage. I couldn't make these videos and I couldn't be me if we were we were going through a riff i can't stand you i can't get on here and fake with y'all i can't i really can't i mean it's just what it is like if i if I've, I've been in bad moods before with keys and i'd be like i ain't making no videos right now mm -mm. we gotta make we either gotta make this right or i'll wait till we talk about it but i ain't doing no videos right now you know what i'm saying and, and we'll talk about it and then we'll be back good again and then we'll cut the camera on and we'll record you know what i'm saying but everybody go through things but i do feel like YouTube is not the place to be displaying. I would never do that for um, money, for views, for anything like that. Because, like I said, end of the day, this is fun for us. You know what I'm saying? And it's no, and it's no shade to anybody else who do it for whatever reason they do it for. You know what I'm saying? Because that's their business. What I'm saying is that I won't be on YouTube disrespecting my husband and spatting and carrying on because I don't feel like that's that's the right. That not, not only is not the right place for it, but you just shouldn't be doing it, period, if you want to have a successful, healthy marriage. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to communicate with each other and be able to listen to each other without all the yelling and screaming. Because if you're yelling and screaming at each other and you're doing it on the channel, all you're doing, like, you know, the subscriber said was opening the door for people to give an opinion of your, of your marriage, of an opinion of you, because they were there for a moment in your marriage where y'all had a disagreement. And I, I, I just, I don't, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. So, yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. Um, you know, you just shouldn't, shouldn't do that stuff on YouTube. And y'all and y'all have seen some of the shortcomings mm -hmm. of different um, younger um, YouTubers that have um, gotten divorced and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff because of how they aired out situations and on YouTube and certain games that they play on YouTube pranking that, and that, all that yeah, kind of stuff yeah that's not healthy for your relationship mm -hmm. um, especially if you got problems in your relationship and then you you're playing those type of games mm -hmm. so, I agree baby I agree so our communion I thank you um, uh, young lady for uh, saying that, saying that because we truly made, appreciate it. That really made our day. Yeah, we truly appreciate it. Because sometimes, believe, no, I'm sorry, baby, but sometimes, uh, believe it or not, y'all, we get down, and 
but when when we see a comment left like that for us, mm -hmm. that always put us right back up there. It does. Um, it the keep us motivated thing. to keep going in the right direction. <laughs> you know, little, bigger than your finger. <laughs> yeah, little sand dollar cookie. Yeah, a little silver dollar cookie. <laughs> oh, look at it. Tastes good. Mm -mm. Know them little cookies that being Shoe cookies. Um, Walmart with all the little colors on it for different holidays. Yeah. It's just what this is. A sugar cookie with icing. Yeah. A hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> now he going to diss their cookies. Yeah. Don't do them like that. I ain't dissing it. They dissing it themselves. <laughs> Keys and I... <laughs> Keys and I try to love each other from a good place, you know, and not, not just saying like, oh, we're the best couple there is because we don't have the manual on marriage, but hey, we make it up as we go. You know what I'm saying? Some days are better than others, you know, but I will say that the good outweighs the bad and we have way more better days than we do a bad days mm -hmm. because we pray together, we communicate with one another and we block out all the outside noise. If I don't even allow my family in my marriage, I'm definitely not allowing you know, YouTube in my marriage. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not a place, that's not a that's not a form or place for my marriage. Mm -hmm. Now, can I give out some healthy advice based on my own experience of being in a marriage? Yes, I can. Being in a long-term relationship for 10 years, yes, I can. I've been with him 10 years total. You know what I'm saying? So, um, am I, am I, have I been, we've been there 30, 40 years yet? No, we're not there yet. But 10 years is a long enough time to be with somebody to know their flaws and know your flaws. Um, your weaknesses, your strengths, and vice versa. And you know what I'm saying? Work together to build each other up right. in the areas that we need. And that's what we do. <clears throat> and so, like I said, if I had an issue with keys, I ain't getting on no um, video recording. No. And even when we have our little um, little stuff on camera, like if um, he get on my nerves or something on camera, I kind of like dismiss it real quick because this is not the place for that. And it's something petty and minute. Like you got to pick and choose your battles in relationships, y'all. You really do. Sometimes we be giving way more life to um, situations, um, people, and outside influences that we really shouldn't. Like people getting upset about people talking about them, saying things about them. You give that stuff life when you address it. What you should do is not even go 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 there with people. You know what I'm saying? Not even get into you know arguing with nobody. Um, <clears throat> don't give stuff life. You know what I'm saying? Like if me and Keys are upset about something. We kind of like talk about it and let it go immediately because I ain't finna get something so petty and minute um, a whole days of my time being mad. I ain't talking yeah. to you. You ain't it's, talking to me. It's exhausting. Yeah, and then I'm making videos talking about what you did and what you said. I'm not going to do that because all I'm doing is giving that more life and more room to keep my marriage going in the opposite direction. Keep us both going in the opposite direction. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> you know, so you have to be mindful of the things that you give life to and the things you pay attention to. Some stuff you gotta just brush it off, okay? Yeah, I apologize, baby. I didn't, I didn't know I made you feel that way. Okay, I accept your apology. Move on. Yeah. Don't keep rehashing old stuff. I think that's Co how you end up having more arguments than anything when you yeah. rehash stuff. A couple of videos ago, y'all already know what mm -hmm. we said. The t 10 ways. Mm -hmm. One of them was what? Um, Forgive without punishing. That's right. That's right. You have to be forgiven and you have to um, be slow to anger. I know it's it's hard because it's hard for me. I'm working on it all, all the time. But what's helping me is picking and choosing. Okay, that's really petty. You really going to get mad about that? Like, mm -hmm. come on. It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's, it's about picking and choosing what you give life to. You know, I don't. Everything is not a big deal. You know? You got some people, like I said in a previous video, if your spouse left the um, toilet seat up too many times and you went to the bathroom, you end up screaming and yelling and cussing at it. You know, it's simple as saying, hey, baby, you know, remember to, you know, put the seat down. You know what I'm saying? I know you probably forget sometimes, but just try to remember that. Or just put the seat down. Yeah. But you can always let him know, too, because that way it's not a continuous mm -hmm. habit. You should have to keep going back yeah. and putting it down every time because it is going to create an argument or create some type of discord. It's like you're yeah. not even considering me in or, the house. Or the not saying I do that because um, a lot of things people that have little arguments. Yeah, but with the same example, I brought that up in a previous video. Yeah. But those um, are some of the things people fellas do have. Fellas, just learn how to 
As soon as you finish, beep. It's just, it's just an example. It's just an example. That's all I'm saying. Like, sometimes things are very small. Like, oh, why don't you sit the remote at? You know, some stuff is real small. Like, people she ain't be arguing. got to worry about that from me. And people be arguing about stuff like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just it's 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 little it's the little things that you have to really dismiss real quick, mm -hmm. and you'll have less arguments if you do that. If you start internalizing everything somebody say, do, yeah. the way they look, you'll you start. Have arguments. You'll constantly have arguments, and you'll constantly have problems, and they will play out even when you cut record on that camera. Because you, why you looking like that? Why you doing this? Why you doing that? <laughs> you don't know what's going on in somebody's mind at the time. Yeah. It may not even have anything to do with you. Like that? But yeah. That's the way God created me. Yeah, like yeah. I've had somebody do me like that before. I looked over at them and they thought I was being, oh, why are you looking at me like that? I'm like, what? I wasn't even thinking nothing. Like, OMG. But that's what I'm saying. When people internalize stuff or people take your behavior as a response to them and ain't even about them, this is what you come up with. That's why I don't internalize what other people do. I don't assume that because somebody's looking some type of way or somebody's saying something in a video or somebody's doing something, I don't assume they're talking about me. I don't. I ain't and somebody to do me like that. I don't, I don't, I don't hey, give that stuff life. Why you look so handsome? I was like, I don't even know, you know. It's just... I'm so done. <laughs> I'm so done, y'all. But like I said, less arguments when you don't internalize things and when you don't make every small thing a big thing. When you don't blow things up. Mm. Don't put no helium in it, okay? <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this lunch with us. I know it's a little short video, but we're going to be doing some more topics and we're going to be eating some more good stuff for y'all. We're going to be doing and uh, we hope you love this video and if like i said if you ever had the um chicken salad chick you know here in the atlanta area anywhere else mm -hmm. you know let us know let us know what is your favorite um flavor and sandwich or whatever that you got in from here and um yeah hit us up in the comments y'all you know we want to hear from you and share the video I ain't gonna hurt nothing to share nothing you better holla at your boy Ew. holla at your girl Ew. and you already know what to do Hit that notification bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we have in store for you. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the Double M Kingdom. And we'll see you in our next video. We love you guys.